Shalom, everyone. This is a word of the Lord from my uh, dear sisters. And this is in response to a question that many of you, my sisters, have. That is, of course, the time. Why am I not married yet? There are those of you who are believing for marriage, those of you who believe you have a marriage promise from Yahweh, from your Father. And I'm here to relate to you his words and his response to your question that you, are, that you have in your heart that is above here, and that is why I'm not, not married yet. And so Yahweh, your father, would say to you, Yahweh says, I will not bless disorder, dysfunction, disobedience, and misalignment. Now, what does that mean? Of course, the words of the Lord and Yahweh's words are often nuanced. They are often layered. And it is those, that nuance and it's those layers that will provide the basis for this word here. And so what does Yahweh mean when he says this to you, my sisters, to what your father says, he will not bless this order, this obedience, this function, and misalignment. What does he mean? Well, first and foremost, part of the scripture witness to this word and what he's trying to say and communicate to you, my sisters, is founded, of course, once again, in Revelation 2.20. And that is in regards to the Lord's um, rebuke and indictments concerning Jezebel. <clears throat> because the first layer of this word is that you there are those of you my sisters who are eating at Jezebel's table not only are you tolerating her but you are eating at her table now what, what does that mean and what does Yahweh mean by that well as that <clears throat> in reference of course again to Revelation 2.20 in that the Lord gives two specific indictments in regards to Jezebel it's not only a, her, her behavior and the spirit that often un, functions and influences a woman to behave in this way is not only tied to promiscuity or sexual immorality or sexual seduction but part of the primary indictments of Jezebel is two primary illegal operations or administrations of two particular functions that is prophecy and that is teaching for quickly for balance here that women women can most certainly prophesy and teach but given certain parameters and given certain adherences to ordinances which is, of course, male headship. I'll get, to back, I'll get back to that in a moment here. But those are, the that is, those are the two primary indictments of Jezebel. And so there are those of you, my sisters, who are eating at Jezebel's table, meaning that you are currently following women, <clears throat> women who are Jezebels, women who are outright Jezebels, who are again, indicted of, or indicted of the same kind because they are illegally, through trespass, prophesying and more pertinently, teaching. You are following such women, my sisters, and therefore, because you're eating at Jezebel's table, by reason of following such women, you are in agreement and you have formed covenant with Jezebel, and therefore you are out of order. You are tolerating, but you're also eating at Jezebel's table. Now, what do I mean by illegally prophesying and teaching? Of course, and that is with the important um, ancient ordinance in regards to women. That women, while women, while males and females are equal in the spirit, there is an ordinance that we must, that you, my sisters, must adhere to for, as a result of us being in time and so journeying in time, and that is male headship. And so therefore, particularly in regard to these particular operations or functions of prophecy and teaching, the scriptures are clear, especially, especially in regards to teaching. Women are not authorized to teach men, period. A woman is not given license to be a rabbi, meaning to teach men. It is illegal. It is trespass. It is not given for an Isha to teach men. As the Apostle Paul made very clear, and he gave his reasons as to why it is illegal. Because it's usurping authority. When you're a rabbi, you are operating as a master. Therefore, someone is sitting at your feet to learn. That is an act of submission. And that is why the Apostle Paul said, I do not permit, permit women to teach. Now he's talking about teaching men, because women can most certainly teach other women, as, he, as the apostle said in Titus, and teach children. 
But when it comes to teaching men, it is illegal. It is trespass. And so the, there are those of you, my sisters, who are eating at Jezebel's table by following such women. <laughs> yeah, I will never send to you the man that he has for you. Now, I, I should have prefaced my comments with a disclaimer to say, you can marry whoever you want, but there are those of you who are believing specifically for the man that Yahweh has for you. And this is why I'm led to do this. I was instructed to release this word here. That Yahweh will never send the man he has for you, the husband, the man after his own heart that he has for you. <clears throat> While you're yet eating at Jezebel's table. While you are yet in agreement with Jezebel. As an example, the Lord wants me to reference her once again. Someone, for instance, like Tiffany Montgomery, who ironically has got has done Year of the Bride fast. And there are those of you, my sisters, who participated in this fast, and yet you find yourselves still yet single. And you're wondering why. Well, I'm, I'm here to give you the reason as to why. From your father. You're eating at Jezebel's table, my sisters. Yahweh will not send you that man that he has for you while you're yet eating at Jezebel's table. <clears throat> Secondarily, not only are those of you, my sisters, who are eating at Jezebel's table by following women who are Jezebel's, but also you yourselves, those of you, my sisters, who this applies to, are also behaving like Jezebel's yourself. Wherein the Lord says, like, there are those of you who are using your social media platforms as a pulpit. Who you yourselves are teaching online. You're using the muddied waters and blurred lines of social media to teach online. And you're not making the clear distinction that you're only to teach women. Because you don't see anything wrong with teaching men. So you're teaching the body of Christ as a whole. You are using your social media platform as a pulpit. And the Lord says that is disorder. You don't have to teach men. Your platform that Yahweh has given you, if he has given it to you anyway, legitimately, is to be used to teach women. According to Titus, you are to be an Isha and then therefore graduate or be promoted or grow into maturity to become a mother of Israel. Where you can teach women, not men. So there are those of you, the Lord says, who are using your social media platform as a pulpit <clears throat> to, to uh, facilitate gatherings, online gatherings, an online congregation. And Yahweh says that that is still disorder, even though you're not leading, because there are those of you who still believe that a woman can be a pastor and shepherd men. But nevertheless, there are those of you who are using on social media and online your platform as a pulpit. <clears throat> and the Lord says, he will not bless that. And he will not send you that man that he has for you until you repent and stop doing it. Now, in regards to the prophecy, the Apostle Paul made it clear that women can most certainly prophesy, but they are to be covered. Meaning that they are, so it's not only in regards to necessarily physical head coverings, but more so to do with spiritual leadership, male headship. And there are those of you, and again, women, women online like Tiffany Montgomery, who are a moniker, is covered by God. That is not scriptural. Any woman who functions prophetically must be under male headship. She must be covered. And so there are those of you who are following such women, but there's those of you also who are still yet uncovered yourselves. So are you looking to follow a woman and you have not, you are not submitted under any form of male authority. That is illegal, my sisters. And for you to go online and prophesy without any form of male authority is illegal. It is trespass. It's illegal. It is trespass. It is operating. As a Jezebel, it is eating at Jezebel's table. Thirdly, lastly, to close, those are the two primary ones, but the third one to close is in regards to unresolved trauma. There are those of you, my sisters, who Yahweh wants you to send, what well, Yahweh wants you to send you that man. But you're unwilling to submit to process. You're unwilling to submit to the, the healing and deliverance. You will need to ensure that your marriage is a blessed marriage because if you go into your marriage with the trauma that you currently have, 
you will, the outer sphere will use that door, that gate of your traumas to, to bring discord, contention, and strife into your marriage. Will you begin to disrespect your husband? Will you not properly submit to him? Not as a doormat, but as an Isha. And so Yah will not bless that. He will not bless disorder, dysfunction, disobedience, and misalignment. So for those of you who, are, who know that the Lord has given you a marriage promise, for a kingdom spouse or a husband, and you're wondering why are you not married yet, these are the three reasons as to why. So it would behoove you, my sisters, when you hear this, to repent, get an alignment, get an order, and get healed. I bless you. I love you. Shalom.